Hi everybody, today we were talking about adding within 100. Yesterday we talked about adding within 20, but I heard some requests today for me to do a follow-up lesson just to recap the concept, and I'm more than happy to do that. So I'm going to start off by drawing 10 boxes, and then we're going to go and count by 10s using these boxes as our guiding posts. Okay. So let's take a look now and count by tens up from le left to right. We're going to go from left to right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And here we have an example of counting up by tens and seeing what the complete tens are from 0 to 100. So 10 in itself right here is, well, 10. We know 10. We like 10. It's one of our friendly numbers. Now, what is the next 10 up from 10? Not a trick question. Right, it's 20. It's the next one. What's the next 10 up from 20? 30. Yep, and keep going. 40. Good. What's the next 10? 50. Good job. And we keep going, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Yep, 100, even though it's going to be teaching us about a new place value soon, is in itself a multiple of 10. It's a 10. Okay, so now let's look at an old example of ours. Let's look at 12 plus 8. Now, 12 plus 8 is one we've done in class multiple times, so you probably already know the answer off the top of your head. But we're going to look at it to see how it relates from going and adding to 10 within 20. And then we're going to look at some bigger examples of how to add 10 within 100. OK. You know what? What we'll actually do is we will save 12 plus 8 for a later time. We'll actually start even smaller. We're going to start with 8 plus 4. Now, 8 plus 4 can help us to learn to add to, t to add 10 within 20. And here's how. We need to complete the 10. Now, if you, you've heard me say that phrase before, and we've talked about it before. When we complete the 10, we're looking to make one of our numbers in this number sentence here equal 10 before we move on. So, let's see. Let's use 8 as our example number. 8 here, what can we add to it to make it equal 10? Right, 8 needs 2 to become 10. But where are we going to get the 2 from? From the 4? Okay, so let's do that. Let's pull 2 out of 4. What's left after I pull out 2? Two. Right, if I have four of something and I get rid of two, I have two left. Good, so now we can start adding. We have eight plus two as our starting bit. And if you notice, we're just recycling the eight, we're recycling the addition, and we're taking that first two. Now, we already know the answer to this. 8 plus 2 equals 10. But now we have, we've hit our second part. We need to make sure that we use all of our unused numbers. Our unused numbers are the ones here in yellow. These yellow numbers need to be used up in a second sentence. And we always add them up. 10 plus 2 equals 12. OK. Well, this is all well and good. But now we're going to use 12. And we're going to try to figure out how to use 12 in the context of 12 plus 8. Now, what's the answer to that? Hmm. We've done it before, so it's what we're familiar with, but maybe it's still confusing for us. Let's try it. OK. Here we go. We have 12 here and 8 here. Now let's look. We need to complete a 10 somewhere. Let's check 8. 
8 will be our first number. What does what does 8 need to become a 10? Right, it needs 2. Where can we get 2? From the 12? Okay. So let's go ahead and pull 2 out of 12. What's left over? 10? Okay. So let's do this. 8 plus 2 equals 10. We know that. And let's see. We have to use up the rest of our numbers. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Good. <clears throat> okay, now there's actually a quick way to do this. Let's copy this chart. This will be useful for us. If I can. I don't think I can, but that's okay. Eh, that's fine. Okay, so instead of copying that chart, I'm just going to put it back. And let's go to the second page. So on this second page, let's go back. To, let's rewrite everything we did for 12 plus 8 equals 20. We number bonded 12 into 2 and 10. Then we did 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then 10 plus 10 equals 20. So we got our number bonds down, and the number bonds gave us an answer. Let me ask you this. Let's look at uh, let's look at this part here. We have eight plus two equals ten. Now eight plus two equals ten is a very interesting, very interesting number for us. So if eight plus two equals ten, I'm gonna rewrite this just a little bit to make this make a little more sense. Two plus eight equals ten. Twelve plus eight has to equal something bigger than ten. What's the next 10 after 10? And it's 20. If you know that if you know that 2 plus 8 is 10, you can figure out that 12 plus 8 equals 20 just by looking at it. Because you can see here both questions have a 2 and an 8. The question is, the, the, the thing with the second one is it has a 1 in the tens place. So when you complete this 10, this 1 in the tens place becomes a 2. And you end up with 20 instead of 10. Something similar happens with other numbers. So, for example, we could do 22 plus 8, and that would equal 30. Because if 2 plus 8 equals 10... And 12 plus 8 equals 20. 22 plus 8 equals 30. You noticing a pattern? I sure do. There's always a 2 plus 8. But the number that pops up on the equal sign is one bigger than the number in the tens place. See? Here there's nothing. Now we have a 1. Here there's nothing. Now we have a 1. Here there's a 1, now we have a 2. Here there's a 2, now we have a 3. It's all about noticing patterns, really. Okay, so now that we've practiced doing within 10, or 20, we're going to go ahead and do, pull a couple examples and do within 100. So we're going to work out two, two examples. We'll work out two examples. Ones that we did in class, so these they're fresh. So we did 33 plus 7 in class. And we also did 55 plus 5. So we're going to look at 33 plus 7 first. Now, we don't know what that equals. We're going to find that out. But our first step is... to do what? Well, yeah, I gave it away. We need to number bond. We pull out 3 to make 7 complete. Okay, so now we can do 3 plus 7, and that equals 10. And we can do 10 plus, sorry, my mistake. We can do 30 plus 10, 
just to keep things straight and in order, to give us 40. And if you don't believe me, we have 3 here, plus 1, 3 plus 1, equals 4, and 0 plus 0 equals 0. We get 40. Now, if we wanted to look at this like we did with the shortcut, we can do this. 3 plus 7 equals 10. So, if that's true, then 33 plus 7 equals 40. Let me write the steps in between. 33 plus 7 equals 40. So we can work our way down a list. If we know that 3 plus 7 is 10, which we know by heart right now, we know that 13 plus 7 is 20, 23 plus 7 is 30, and lastly, 33 plus 7 equals 40. This shortcut works if you know your 10 facts really well. This way, here, we can work out any problem we want to and still arrive at our answer. It just takes a little bit longer. So let's look at one last example. Like I said earlier, we'll be looking at 55 plus 5 and see what that equals. Okay, so we can do the number we can do the number bond way, which means we pull out 5 from 50, 55 and are left with with 50. Blah, let me say that again. Where we pull out 5 and we're left with 50. From there we can do start doing our addition sentences. 5 plus 5 equals 10 and 50 plus 10 equals 5 plus 1, 6, 0 plus 0 is 0. So we get 60. And if we want to do our, if we can, if we want to do our um, 10, uh, 10 fact shortcut, we know that 5 plus 5 equals 10. And now we put a 1 in front of the 5. So it's 15 plus 5 equals, we increase that 10's place by 1. 20. 25 plus 5 equals 30. Once again, we've increased our number by 1, and th the center part stays the same. And 35, 45, and lastly, 55 plus 5. Forty, fifty, sixty. In every case, we, we have a 5 plus 5. And we have that the number at the end ends in a 0. What's different between each case is the number here. It, it goes up by 1. Same for this, these numbers, too. OK. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have questions, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we be working on stuff like this all week. It won't be the only time you get to see it. So remember, this is all about completing the 10. If you don't know how to complete the 10, you need to practice your 10 facts. So things like 3 plus 7 equals 10 or 4 plus 6 equals 10, e.g., for example. And you also need to practice counting by 10, so you can keep track of which 10s come next. If you do those things, I promise you this will be a piece of cake in no time.